एवरी ड्रॉप काउंट्स पार्ट वन एवरी ड्रॉप काउंट्स मीन्स ईच एंड एवरी ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर इज वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट ईच ड्रॉप इज प्रेशियस प्रेशियस मीन्स कीमती और अनमोल इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ वाटर क्लासीफाई द सोर्सेस इन टू सरफेस वाटर एंड अंडरग्राउंड वाटर सोर्सेस understand the water cycle learn the definition of water table learn the sources of water in villages towns and cities now children try to identify these sources of water these are all very common sources of water and i think all of you must have seen it at one or another places these are all natural resources of water have you identified it good first one is rain then river canal last one is pond or lake now again try to identify these sources of water these are also very common and i think all of you must have seen in your neighborhood very easy have you identified it good this one is a tube well this is well hand pump and this one is the step well now find out the answers name the different sources of water identify the main source of water is it river well rain or tube well what are the different uses of water in our daily life now children you all know that rain is the main source of water and when the rain water fall on the ground it can be collected as surface water on the surface of the earth or it is absorbed by the earth and then that is called as underground water now surface water water which is located on the surface of earth and can be used easily in our daily life is termed as surface water for example water in ponds or lakes rivers streams or oceans all these sources are of surface water then the second is underground water water from rainfall and surface water sinks into the ground is known as underground water we can now take out underground water for everyday use by hand pump well tube well and bore well so the underground water has to be taken out by different sources now find out the answer what is difference between surface water and underground water what is the main source of water for surface and underground water give two examples of surface water and two examples of underground water hello friends i am a drop of water like me many water droplets fall down from the cloud and collect in different water bodies due to heat of sun we change into vapor and moves to sky to form clouds and again come down in form of rain this is called as water cycle now i will explain you the different steps of water cycle water cycle consists of four steps first is water collection then evaporation then condensation precipitation and again water collection what is evaporation water collects in water bodies and then due to heat of sun water changes into vapor and moves up in the sky 
the change of water into water vapor due to heat of the sun is called as evaporation the next step is condensation the change of water vapor into tiny water droplets to form clouds is called as condensation precipitation water droplets collect and form clouds in the sky when the clouds become heavy due to collected water droplets water droplets fall down in form of rain or snow or hail wow rain i'm a rain drop i come from clouds as snow or as hail of rain water rain water collect in various water bodies like ponds lakes and rivers again water evaporates from water bodies and the cycle continues in nature which is called as water cycle you have learned about the terms evaporation condensation and precipitation a picture is given here observe the diagram and label it label all the things which you can see in the picture also write all the steps of water cycle water table the water table is the level of water below the underground water children you have learned about underground water below the underground water is a water bank water bank means lot of water is there that is called as water table it is the last level of water under which there are rocks inside the earth it means the water cannot cross the rocks and go more deeper in the earth in fact the water table is like a bank where rain water is stored it is just like water bank when there is less rain it goes down and when there is heavy rain it goes up now there is an activity you can perform this activity to learn how water is absorbed in the soil take a plastic bottle a bigger one fill some big gravels in its base then put layers of small gravels then sand and then soil one above the another this becomes a simple model of layers in the earth now pour water in the bottle and observe how water travels through the different layers at the base of the bottle water gets collected and very slowly also this is how rain water travels inside the earth and form water table what happens when the water table decreases this is an example which i have taken from your textbook page number 56 there are two old wells in the area where punita lives her grandmother says that about 15 to 20 years ago there was water in these wells the wells could have dried up because water is being pumped up from under the ground with the help of electric motors the lakes in which rain water used to collect are no longer there the soil around trees and parks is now covered with cement is there some other reasons for this explain look at this picture observe it carefully you can see here water table according to punita's grandmother once upon a time that is around 15 to 20 years back there was water in the well but now the wells are dried it is simply because the water table decreases so what are the various reasons of decreasing the water table let us find reasons of change in water table over pumping of underground water 
nowadays in most of the houses people have planted submersible pumps these pumps suck the underground water due to sucking of underground water the water level goes down deforestation deforestation means cutting off trees nowadays forests are cleaned to make buildings and children you know that where plants or trees are less there is less rainfall and when there is less rainfall automatically the water table will decrease ponds or lakes which were present in villages towns or cities have been packed with plastics waste materials and soil and are changed into plain land on which multi storied buildings shopping malls hotels etc are built so the lakes in which once upon a time rain water used to collect are now are filled with all these things and they are no longer exist in villages towns or cities so these are the few reasons of decreasing the water table it's important to know how people get water from different sources and the problems they face in fact people living in different areas get water from different sources let us try to understand this by looking at all these pictures i have taken this part from your textbook page number 57 this is how we get water a gel board water tanker comes to all to our colony twice a day we have to stand in a long queue to get water from the tanker people at times have fights over water we fill water from the well the nearby well dried up a year ago now we have to walk far off to reach the other well we get water at home for half an hour we fill this in the tank to use all day sometimes it is dirty in the first picture some people they uh, get water from gel board water tank simply because there is less water available for drinking or for daily use in some places people have to take water from wells and at some places they get water for very less time that is only for half an hour and sometimes it is dirty also we get water from our taps all day long there is a hand pump nearby but the water that we get from it is salty we have to buy water for drinking so the salty water is not fit for drinking so in some area people buy drinking water we have put a pump directly in the gel board pipeline now we don't have any problem so in some areas people put pump directly in the gel board pipeline but it is not good idea because others suffer from getting less water we have put a motor to pump up the water from the bore well but there is no electricity so what to do in some places people put motor to take out water from the inside of the earth but it needs electricity and when there is no electricity you cannot pump out the water we get water from the canal itself in some villages people go to canal to bring water so in this way people get water from different sources like water tank well canal tap hand pump pipeline overhead tank in this part of the video you have learned name of the different sources of water the difference between surface water and underground water 
Rain is the main source of water. How water cycle continues in the nature? Importance of water table. In the second part of the video, you will learn about some places in India which get very little rainfall. Rain water harvesting. Use of harvested rain water and many more things related with saving water. Thank you.